Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new Sunday fashion video. We took a little bit of a hiatus on the fashion videos when I was up in Scotland coming home with a rock but we are back with the fashion videos and back with the first wedding themed fashion video. Now I mentioned in my last video that we really really want to host a bit of like an engagement party. We haven't fully decided what we're going to do yet. In fact we haven't even started planning it. I haven't arranged a location, I haven't arranged a date, I haven't arranged what the plan is, but you know what I have done? I've gone shopping for some engagement party outfits because I wanna make sure that I have got a dress ready to celebrate in. So I wanted to show you what I have been picking up and some really cute new dresses that I think are going to make perfect engagement party dresses depending on the vibe, depending on what we're going to end up doing. And just to give you a little bit of outfit inspo because there are so many of you out there that are also a part of the wifey to be club i cannot believe how many of you guys i have connected with that are saying you're also engaged you're getting married this year next year in a couple of years time and it's just so so lovely to connect with you guys so hopefully this will give you a little bit of inspiration if you maybe are planning your hen do an engagement party anything bridal actually a few of these dresses are not the most bridal dresses they could just make some really fun party dresses for the summer so let's jump straight straight into the video and I can show you what I've been picking up. I am going to start with probably the most fun dress out of all of them. I saw this one on River Island and I could not have added it into my basket any quicker. And sometimes I feel like it is such a manifestation thing. I know I talk about this all the time, but you know when you're thinking about getting a car, let's say a Land Rover, and suddenly you see Land Rovers on every single street corner ever, Suddenly now that I'm engaged, I'm seeing so many gorgeous engagement Hindu outfits that I'm like, that is so cute. And I don't think I ever would have stumbled upon this before. At least I probably would have scrolled straight past because it is very out there. It's very OTT. It's very fun but it is also perfect for anything bridal related. This really cute little halter neck mini dress with this amazing ruffle detail running down it. Like, look at this, it looks so fun. I absolutely love it. It's like this tall ruffle detail. And this is one of those dresses that I feel like looks so much more expensive than it actually is. It looks like you've got it from like Farfetch, from like a really expensive designer. You would not believe that this was picked up on the high street from River Island, which is what I really, really liked about this. But as I said, not all of these dresses have to be bridal, they don't have to be like hen or engagement party dresses. This I also think could just make a really, really fun dress for the summer. If you're maybe going away with girlfriends and you've got like a summer holiday coming up, I think this would be a really, really fun one. I also think when it comes to my hen do, Maybe I'll change my mind later down the line, but I wouldn't be against everyone just wearing white the whole weekend because I feel like white is just such a fun colour. And actually, it's something I really, really struggle with in the summer when it comes to going to other people's Hindus, bridal showers, anything in the summer that involves wearing a pretty dress. I really struggle because so many of my dresses are white and I always feel like I can't wear anything white. So I'm definitely going to make a dress code that like anyone can wear white if they want to. I think it would be really, really fun if everyone who was there was all wearing white. Maybe we do that for the engagement party. We tell everyone to come wearing white. That might be really, really fun. Um, and as you can see, I'm having a moment with white. It's all I want to wear at the moment. It's the only color that is interesting me. But I just thought this dress was so much fun. Just for like drinks with the girls, something a little bit more kind of like evening-y, but not too like formal. I just fell in love with this and I know it's extra, I know it's OTT, but if you can't go OTT when you are a bride, then when can you? <laughs> oh my god, I am literally a walking marshmallow and I'm kind of loving it. Like, I am not mad about this. This is so much fun. This dress, do you know what this screams to me? Like, Hindu abroad. I feel like this is the kind of dress that you'd wear if you're on a night out with your friends in, I don't know, like Venice, or if you've taken them away to Ibiza. Like, I think this is just so fun. So I've gone for a very summery accessories, which I kind of love. I've gone for my favorite little Castagna espadrilles and my Chloe basket bag, because for me, this is just one of those fun dresses that you would never normally 
wear at home but on holiday on your hen do with all of your gal pals this is just so fun I absolutely love it I quite like the fact that obviously you've got your shoulders out so it does mean that you're not being completely swamped by fabric and on most girls this will be a lot shorter obviously being five foot is a little bit longer on me um I could potentially belt it but then I don't know if that will kind of take away from the whole oversized ruffle aspect of it I'm not entirely sure but I just think this is one of those dresses that is so fun and there's only one time in your life that you could wear something like that and that is when you are a bride <laughs> okay, next up is something a little bit more understated and a little bit more classic now with regards to this engagement party we haven't fully decided what we're going to do yet i think it might just end up being a bit of a garden party because that is what we absolutely love doing we love just like throwing it open the bifold doors hosting our friends and family having drinks cocktails a barbecue and i feel like this dress would be perfect from that this is a house of cv number and you guys know how much i adore house of cv dresses they are such high quality they are so so beautiful and they're the kind of dresses that i just live in in summer and i bring my house of cv dresses out every single year i have quite a few in my collection now and i feel like they are just absolutely timeless they come out of my wardrobe every summer and they're all i want to wear and this is actually a new one from house of cv as you can see literally just picked it up haven't even tried it on yet but this is really really gorgeous very timeless and classic silhouette it's got like a very big voluminous skirt but this really understated chest detail which is what I really really liked and I quite liked the fact that it had like a strappy shoulder because I feel like in the height of summer this is just going to be absolutely beautiful and you just want to have your shoulders out you just want to be basking in the sun but obviously you've still got that classic ethereal white to it so I thought this was such a gorgeous one if I wanted something a little bit more understated a little bit more of like a daytime soiree this is so so beautiful oh my goodness me do i feel like a princess this dress is just absolutely stunning house of cb you've done it again i love this like big open neckline i think it's just so so beautiful it's obviously got the boning in it so you don't need to worry about wearing a bra but if you wanted to i would say just go for a strapless because you don't want to detract from these like really gorgeous little spaghetti straps and this like open neckline i think this would look so beautiful with my favorite pandora string of pearls just to like really elevate the look but i love the fact that it's just like this plain white dress and yet because of the kind of like detailing to it like the bit at the bottom the fact that it comes in so beautifully at your waist it's just absolutely stunning like it looks like you've made no effort at all and yet somehow look so chic and so pulled together and i love it paired with the i'd say they're more creamy tones these castagna espadrilles and i've gone for my little coach pillow because it's definitely more of like day wear this is so beautiful for like a garden party something in the summer where you just want to look very ethereal and bridal but like understated bridal i actually think this would make a beautiful bride dress if you're going for something really paired back for your wedding because it's just absolutely stunning and also it has pockets and I feel like dresses always go from whatever they are to a 10 out of 10 the second I realize that they have pockets it just makes the dress for me so this is one option that I am absolutely in love with Another gorgeous house of CB numbers, one that I've actually had in my wardrobe for about a year now. I think it was maybe May of last year that I picked this up because I think I'd bought it initially as a potential birthday dress. And I do remember saying at the time that I'm not entirely sure I would have all that many occasions to wear this to because obviously it is completely all white. Well, now that I am a bride to be, this is a dress I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. It's so beautiful. This is their Tallulah dress, which is such a classic style that they have on house of cb now and they literally have it in maybe eight to ten different kind of like variations different colorways different patterns and i have maybe three in my collection because i love them so so much like it's such a timeless silhouette it's just so beautiful like the way that it kind of like flows and sits on your body is just stunning and every time i wear these dresses i always get so so many compliments so this is another option for if we are going to be doing a garden party and the reason why i'm leaning a little bit more towards this one is because it has got sleeves and we have had quite 
quite cold weather recently so the other one would be perfect if it was like july august it's baking hot you want to have your shoulders out and it's like gorgeous sunshine because of the weather we've been having recently this one might be a little bit more practical and keep me a little bit warmer but it's still just as beautiful just as timeless and a definite option for some more engagement soirees that we're gonna have coming up i'm sure that you can see exactly why i just have such a love affair for these house of cb dresses i mean look how elegant this looks again it's so ethereal and beautiful and understated and yet because of this kind of like detailing up here it's just a little bit more than the other dress which is what i really really like about it and i've actually starred this one with my gabor heels that i wore for the wedding that we had in edinburgh these heels oh my goodness me they lasted me all day like i survived in them for the entirety of the wedding i can't remember if i actually told you this but basically i was supposed to bring a pair of flats to change into for the evening and I was sharing a bag with my brother's girlfriend and we went in separate taxis and I thought she grabbed the shoe bag and she thought I grabbed the shoe bag. So halfway through the Kaylee, she came over to me and was like, oh, where did you put the shoes? And I was like, what do you mean, where did I put the shoes? Where did you put the shoes? And she was like, I don't have the shoes. And I was like, I don't have the shoes. So basically we completely forgot to bring a spare change of flats to change into. And I'm not the kind of person that likes to take my heels off and go barefoot. So we had no choice. We both had to last in our heels for the entirety of the wedding, plus a Scottish Kaylee. And if you don't know, a Scottish Kaylee is literally, it's kind of like line dancing. Like, oh my word, is it intense. And to say that I lasted in these really does go to show how comfy they are. So they're the kind of heels that I feel like I can wear all day and not worry about. And I love the fact that they're this gorgeous like taupey color so it really blends with the rest of the look i've gone for my little coach tabby because i think it's really cute and i love these bags when you've got a puff sleeve because you can just kind of pop it on your shoulder and not worry about it like it just stays put all day which i think is so so perfect but just look at the silhouettes that this gives it's so timeless and so classic very bridal without being too like ott like it's a bit of an understated bridal look which is what i really like about these so i think these will both be perfect dresses for a garden party i think if we do do the garden party i'll basically just decide what the weather is going to be like on the day whether it's going to be super sunny i'll go for the strappy and if it's a little bit colder i'll go for the sleeves that's the best thing about having these two dresses to choose from now moving on to something a little bit more fun i saw this dress on phase eight and just could not resist this beautiful champagne sequin dress oh my goodness me i am absolutely in love with this now you guys know when it comes to everyday wear and even evening wear i'm not normally much for sparkle girl there's only one time of year i love sparkles and that is at christmas but i feel like if there's any other time that you can wear sparkles it's when you're a bride and i just thought this was so so gorgeous and actually it's not too bridal compared to the other very all white like very engagement party dresses this is the kind of thing that i think you could wear to a few different occasions and you can wear for a few different very so maybe like a graduation I think this would be so beautiful for if you just got invited to like a cocktail party like you don't have to wear the bride to wear this dress because it does have this champagne undertone which I really really like about it love the fact that it's a halter neck I feel like phase eight just do the perfect style of halter neck like I love the way that it sits on your shoulders I love how elegant it is it's so classic and timeless and yet this really is like a statement piece I mean it doesn't really get much more of a statement than a all sequin full gown dress does it but this would just be so fun if we're looking to do something more like cocktail-y like a big dinner party or something like that I just thought this dress would be absolutely perfect for oh my goodness wow just look at this dress this is just the epitome of wow but the only problem with it is look how long it is on me and i am wearing heels like literally have heels on i've got my gorgeous pair of sparkly manolos which i can't even can't even grab the dress to pull out there we go i've got my gorgeous pair of sparkly manolos on because i really wanted to bring out the sparkles in the dress but wowie is it long on me and i do find this with phase eight like i do find that their products are quite long normally i would just say get it tailored get it taken in this sequin dress i don't know if you can so this is going to be the kind of dress that i think i will either have to wear about 10 inch heels which i do not own or i'm going to have to return it which makes me really sad because just look at the way that it shimmers like look at the way that it hits the light it is so so beautiful so if you are taller than maybe five five 
this dress will be perfect on you if not and you're gonna have the same problem as I do but look how stunning it looks I've just paired it with my little cup she um clasp what's this um clutch bag that's the word my cup she clutch bag and look how well they go together like the champagnes just match so beautifully so i'm really sad because i think this is one of my favorite dresses from the haul but it's just too long on my short ass <laughs> Another option for more of a cocktail party is this absolutely beautiful maxi number. Again, it's got this kind of like almost champagne-y colour in the background. It's very like nude, which I think is so, so beautiful. And it's got the stunning white lace over the top. Now, this dress... It's actually the most affordable dress in this haul. This is from Cupshe, and you guys know how much I adore Cupshe, but I don't normally go for like evening wear from them. But when I saw this dress online, I fell in love. And actually, they have an entire bridal collection on there at the moment. And I believe I have a discount code for Cupshe at the moment. So I will leave the discount code linked down below, along with all of the links to all of these dresses for you guys at Two Shop. Because if you can get something this affordable plus a discount, that is just absolutely amazing. This does not look look like it has come from Cupshe. This looks so high-end, like so expensive, which is what I really, really liked about it. So again, I thought this would be so beautiful, something a little bit more fancy, a bit more like cocktail, dinner party kind of vibe. Love the fact that it's got this like very open detail. This would also be perfect if you're like going on holiday, you're looking for like a beautiful evening dress to wear. Oh, I can just picture this in like the height of summer. You've got your shoulders out, you've got your back out. It's just absolutely beautiful. So another one that I am just obsessed with another dress that we have the same problem with guys i'm just too small honestly i'm just too short so many of these dresses just look absolutely beautiful but they are just too long on me which is so sad and again i've got my gorgeous manolo heels because i wanted this to be more of like an evening dress but i just think it is far too long other than that it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so if you're much taller than me and looking for a stunning like very understated i could also actually pitch this as a wedding dress or even a bridesmaid's dress i think would be so so beautiful so i will leave it linked down below along with my code but i think for me it's gonna have to go back which is so so sad and of course, I couldn't not include the very dress that I wore for our engagement announcement, this beautiful forever new number. This is what I wore to announce to all of our friends and family and you guys that we were engaged. And I just think it's the most beautiful dress. Very bridal, but in like a subtle way. It's not obviously bridal. When it actually came to the day, I was really undecided whether to wear this dress that I'm wearing now or go for this one. But I decided on this one in the end because I felt like it was just that little bit more subtle, but still equal as beautiful you've obviously got the like white background of the dress but the fact that it's got the kind of like pink ditzy florals I think is what takes away the like harshness of the fact that it's kind of trying to be like woo I'm a bride which is what I really liked about it and I love forever new dresses they've actually just released a new collection of floral summer dresses and I might just have to place an order because they are just my favorite dresses in my wardrobe they're so timeless so classic so feminine and made so so well so I would definitely recommend picking this one up i think this would make a beautiful engagement party dress again for like a garden party maybe even like a summer picnic something a little bit more casual and day wear but still absolutely beautiful and being the like center of attention of the day that is exactly what i feel like this dress gives you now do you see why i just adore this dress i mean look at the way that it just moves and flows and this dress is actually a perfect size on me but i can wear it with heels or with flats which i really really like but i've gone for the really really gorgeous good boy heels again because i love the way that the colors all tie in together they've got this almost like lilac pink tone to them i think they go so beautiful with the pinks and the lilacs in the dress and i've actually decided just to elevate it a little bit with my gorgeous little demelier bag because it's got the gold details the gold buttons running down it so I kind of want to like pull that gold out with my accessories and I feel like it just lifts the dress a little bit it's a perfect handbag just to carry it around with you for the day which I think is so so cute so again garden parties barbecues picnics anything that's like maybe a little bit more day wear but you still want to be fabulous you still want to be center of attention you still want to look beautiful as the bride this dress is just stunning. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't until starting to actually film this video that I realized how many House of CB dresses that I wanted to include in it I had. This is one that, again, I've actually had in my wardrobe for a really, really long time. I think I maybe have owned this one for about three years now, and I absolutely love it. This was my birthday dress in 2021. 
I believe, when Alex and I went to the Cotswolds, and it's just such a stunning number. This is the Juliet dress, I believe, and it's just so gorgeous. It doesn't have as much boning in it, so it's a little bit more comfortable than the Tallulah dresses, but just equally as stunning. I love the silhouette of it. It's just gorgeous. It flows so beautifully, and of course, very bridal in the white background with just these really little ditzy floral prints to it. It's got these like purple and pink flowers, which I just think is so, so lovely. And again, in summertime, if you're having a garden party, maybe you're doing something for the coronation, I think this is going to be such a beautiful dress to wear paired with like some espadrilles, a little basket bag. I think this is gorgeous. And again, very bridal. So I think this is another real contender for me for wearing for our engagement party. Well, I'm sure you can see it now why I love these House of CV dresses so much. They are just so beautiful, like so well made, so well fitted and just timeless, like absolutely timeless. I think this would make such a gorgeous engagement party dress. It's just absolutely stunning. I love a little ditzy floral print to it. It's not too much, but it's still very like white and ethereal and bright, which is what I really, really like. And I love this kind of like sweetheart neckline. I think it's so, so beautiful. And I just paired it again with cream accessories. I've gone for my Castagna Espadrilles because I feel like these go so beautifully with the dresses. And I've actually gone for my Sac de Jour because I quite like juxtaposing the white with the more like creamy tones. I think it's really, really nice. So I'm really going to struggle to decide what dress to go for if it does come down to to a garden party because these three are all just so stunning. And last but certainly not least is this absolutely stunning number. Now this dress ticks so many boxes for me when it comes to summer dress styling. It's got this really gorgeous, really large scoop neckline which I absolutely love. It's got the most full skirt I think I've ever seen in a high street dress in my life. It has pockets and it's got the most beautifully cinched in waist and this it's from River Island again. I feel like River Island are coming through with these like really expensive looking dresses for a much more affordable price point. Like this dress to me looks very Reformation, which I really, really like about it. It looks so expensive and I love the pattern of it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very well, but it's not like plain. It's got this amazing kind of almost like threading running through it, which I really, really like. I think it really adds to the detail of the dress. And again, I thought this would be such a gorgeous number. I feel like this is one that you can style up or down depending on your vibes. So if you're on your Hindu, this could maybe be something more of like a daytime thing if you're going for afternoon tea with the girls or something a little bit more like daytime-esque, but easily you could add a gorgeous pearl necklace, something a little bit more sparkly with regards to your shoes and accessories, and it becomes more of an evening thing. So this one I think is probably the most versatile out of all of the dresses that I have shown you, and it really is such a beautiful number. So I feel like we are finishing on a high after showing you so many gorgeous engagements engagement party outfits. I wasn't joking when I said that we are ending on a high look at this dress. Oh my goodness me, this could 100% be a full on dress, like as a bride. If you are looking for something really affordable and you just want something a little bit more simple and understated, how stunning would this look walking down the aisle? I'm not gonna lie, this video as well has really made me realize that I need some more white shoes because the Castagna Espadrilles are far too cream with so many of these dresses and I don't actually own any white heels. So I think I maybe need to pick some more. I actually saw someone Jimmy Choo while they were on Farfetch. I'm thinking of that, I could use my Farfetch discount code to pick them up. That might be an option. So I might have to pick up some new shoes, but just look at the style of this dress. It's absolutely stunning. I love the corset detail, the way that it poofs out. Of course, it's got pockets. The only thing, the only thing I will say, the sleeves are just too big on me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get them altered. All you need to do is pinch like that, and then they fit so, so beautifully. So that's all I need to do. I've also just added a little hairband into my hair, this little pearl hairband. And I love how it looks. I feel like it really elevates the dress. Like this is very much like the last night of your hen do. Something really big and really just really OTT, like a bougie engagement party dress. I absolutely adore it. So all I need to do is this tiny little alteration and it is perfect. And despite the fact that this dress isn't officially in the video, you could definitely also style this up for an engagement party, any bridal outfits or hen that you have got coming up. So I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I've been adding into my wardrobe. As I said, we haven't even started planning an engagement party, but 
I now have a full engagement party wardrobe ready to go, which makes me feel really happy. So it means no matter what we decide to do, no matter what eventuality comes my way, I have got a bridal outfit sorted for it. And I do feel like these dresses are a lot more versatile than just being bridal dresses. Like you can wear these for lots of different occasions. You can style them up in lots of different ways. So I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. All of the dresses, of course, will be linked down below in the description box. So make sure to check that out. And if you got to the end of this video, leave me the white heart emoji down below in your comment or the word white heart. Because I always love knowing who gets to the end of these videos. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button already I know a lot of you guys that watch these vlogs haven't actually hit the subscribe button it really helps me out just to know that you want to see more videos and it helps you guys out because obviously all the videos will be in your subscription box so make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you on Tuesday for a new vlog bye guys